Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about why the Houston Texans will be one of the biggest surprises in the NFL in the 2023 season. I think the Houston Texans are one of the most underrated teams in the NFL going into the 2023 season. Honestly, I've looked at a lot of you know mock drafts, you know, or you know regular season, you know, predictions, and when I look at mock drafts for the 2024 season, I don't see one. One mock draft that doesn't have the Arizona Cardinals picking twice in the top three picks because they think the Houston Texans will be either the second or the third worst team, worst teams in the NFL because the Cardinals have their picks. Um, I think this Houston Texans team will be way better than everybody, anybody thinks this season. Uh, this defense is one thing that I think is – very underrated for the Houston Texans. This defense, I mean, look at the depth at the defense. You have Will Anderson Jr., the third overall pick. He is going to have an amazing rookie year. I, I feel like Will Anderson Jr. has to be the favorite to win defensive player, uh, de- defensive rookie of the year. Um, I think he will win that. I think he's going to have an amazing rookie year. I mean, look at the other guys on the defense. You have John Grenard, a guy who I think is going to have a huge year for the Texans if he stays healthy, which is something that's been not able. This has been a little bit of a struggle for him in the past. Um, that's not even at the defensive line. You have Sheldon Rankings at the defensive tackle, along with Malik Collins, Roy Lopez, Hassan Ridgeway. I think those guys at the defensive tackle position will be really solid. Um, that, I mean, that's kind of it for the defensive line. I mean, you also have Jacob Martin as well. Um, I mean, look at the linebacker crew. You have Blake Cashman as someone who's going to have a great year. You have Christian Harris going into this, his second year. He's going to have a star season with the Texans. I think he's going to be a rising star this season. I could very well see Christian Harris being a Pro Bowler. How about someone who is been a, has been a Pro Bowler at the, uh, has been a Pro Bowler before at the linebacker position for the uh, not well, not for the Houston Texans, but is on the Texans roster. Denzel Perryman. He's going to have a great year for the Texans. Um, more deaf at that linebacker position, Christian Kirksey, Corey Littleton, um, Henry Tooto, who the Texans drafted in the fifth round, or fourth, fifth or fourth round. He's going to be a stud for the Houston Texans. This depth that the Texans have in um, the defense. I mean, I mean, I haven't forgot about the secondary. The secondary, you have Jalen Petrie uh, and Jimmy Ward at the safety, along with Desmond King. Uh, at the nickel, and then you have Derek Stingley Jr. and Steven Nelson at the cornerback. You have Sh- Shaq Griffin and Desmond King at ba- as backup corners because King will be playing nickel and corner. Um, and then also you have MJ Stewart and Eric Murray as backup safeties. You also have other guys like Garrett Wallow at linebacker, Chase Winovich, uh, Thomas Booker. This Texans defense is loaded, and the offense is really good as well, and it's really improved. Um, the offensive line has improved, adding in Shaq Mason and Juice Scruggs and Michael Dieter. Um, the wide receiver group has improved, adding in Robert Woods and Noel Brown in free agency, drafting Tank Dell and Xavier Hutchinson, getting back John Mechie's second round pick in 2022, uh, who's going to be fully healthy this season. Uh, to ready to go week one for the Houston Texans after missing, you know, after missing his rookie season with having leukemia, adding in Dalton Schultz at the tight end position. He's going to be great. He was great for Dallas last year. Now he'll get more catches with the, I think he'll have a way better season with the Texans this year than he had last year. The running game, you have Damian Pierce, who in his rookie year only played 13 games with 13 starts, had 940 rushing yards with four rushing touchdowns. Imagine what he'll do in an improved offense, an improved offensive line, uh, an improved coaching staff, and a full season of play for Damian Pierce in his second season. Damian Pierce will even be better in his second season. You have Devin Singletary, who was the starting running back for the Buffalo Bills last season. He is our backup running back. You have more depth at the running back position. This Texans offense and defense is both improved their coaching staff has improved the offensive line has improved this texans team has improved really everywhere you know the run game the run defense was a problem you added in will anderson in the draft unbelievable run run stopper um you also added in denzel perryman you added in some other guys as well to help stop the run with hassan ridgeway sheldon rankings you did that great um you needed to upgrade the secondary a little bit more. You added in Jimmy Ward. 
needed to add some more depth at the linebacker position. You drafted Henry Toe to O, and you signed Denzel Perryman, you signed Corey Littleton, you made uh, some other moves at the linebacker position. This Texans defense has improved everywhere. D'Amico Ryans has made sure to fill every void at the defense and the offense that the Texans needed to improve. You haven't really seen the Texans not improve at a position they were really bad at last year, whether it was quarterback or wide receiver or tight end or, you know, you know, run defense which is the defensive line um or even linebacker you know linebackers D'Amico Ryans and the Texans have been able to you know improve at every position that they were struggling at last year and they've improved they've added in CJ Stroud CJ Stroud has a good really really good offense for a rookie I think a very good offense for a rookie. You have six really good wide receivers. You have a really good tight end. You have two really good running backs. You have a really solid offensive line. The best left ta- the best left tackle in football, along with a whole, just a really good offensive line. You have veterans like Lemmy Tuntle and Shaq Mason on the line. You have some other other guys like Titus Howard and Kenyon Green. And you have Juice Scruggs, who should be really good, really strong, even though he's a rookie. I think he'll be really good as well. This Texans team has improved. And honestly, I think with a little bit of an easy schedule as well, I could see this Texans win, this Texans team win seven to nine games this season. And that is way more than anybody thinks this Texans de- this Texans team will win this season. I, I do, you know, call me crazy. I, do, I think the Jaguars will win the AFC South, but I think the Texans will give them a fight for their money. I do. I really do. I think the Houston Texans will give them a fight for their money uh, in the AFC South. I really, really could see the Houston Texans um, giving the Jaguars some trouble for this AFC South. Do I think the Texans win the AFC South? No. But the fact that they were in, they could be in contention to win that AFC South, I think that is a big step in the right direction for the Texans. Even, even when, honestly, as a Texans fan, with watching this team last year, if this Texans team and coaching staff can show some good spurts and maybe win six to eight games, if it's only that, I still view that as a good season for the Houston Texans. Um, I think they, they've improved at really everything. I think it's going to be a great year for the Houston Texans. Um, I think the defense will be good. I think the offense will be really good. And I, I, I think the Texans are going to most likely win seven or eight games. But I think it is possible the Texans could probably maybe win nine games. I doubt it. I doubt the Texans win nine games. But I think most likely seven or eight wins for the Texans this season, which is a huge improvement. And I think the Texans could be one of the biggest surprises of the 2023 season. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. That's it for the video. And peace out. Go Texans.